Hello viewers and welcome to Novice Talks with me your host Novice Gorbius and I'm doing this video for personal reasons as a way to look back and as a form of retrospective in a way which is why this will be uploaded on both my YouTube channels. This movie Transformers The Last Night has officially turned five years old. Now that not, might not mean much to the majority of you but to me that's a pretty big deal because this movie was a significant part of my life for three years. On my old YouTube channel I made a load of videos about this while the filming was underway. Um, and to sort of give you some background here for those that don't know, um, obviously I'm a big Transformers fan. I've made a few videos here and I've done a lot of videos in the past. I grew up with the first movie it was what inspired me to want to become an actor and a filmmaker and to this day Optimus Prime is still my all-time favorite fictional character and as the movies went on you know I've always enjoyed them I liked Revenge of the Fallen and I loved Dark of the Moon Age of Extinction to date is still my favorite movie of all time which is why my obsession with this movie even happened in the first place because this is a sequel to my favorite movie so I had a lot of expectations going into this and the short end of it really is that I loved the ending to Age of Extinction it was a massive cliffhanger I had a lot of expectations and hopes for where the next movie could go I spent years following every little news drop and every bit of detail I could get about Transformers 5 and when the filming happened when the marketing was going on I was really in there I knew every single detail. I can still remember where I was when I saw each trailer or each TV spot. That level of obsession basically consumed my life for three years. Um, I made a lot of friends online in various online communities, some of whom I still talk to today. Um, and you know, Transformers, and specifically Transformers 5, became a huge part of my life for those three years. I obviously got a lot of ridicule online and in person naturally for having such extreme fanboyism over one movie and franchise as a whole. I made hundreds of posts on my social media accounts about it. I was really into it. And you know, every trailer just got me more and more excited. And there was this palpable hyper excitement in the air surrounding the release of this movie. This had the potential to be an absolute masterpiece, it really did. All of the pieces were in place. Which is why it was shocking on June 21st, 2017, when the movie came out and I saw it. And for the first time ever, I was horribly disappointed with the Transformers movie. And the entire community was as well. Everyone that had defended the previous movies was suddenly piling onto this one as well. We couldn't believe it, you know, what had happened. This was a movie that was supposed to kickstart a cinematic universe, yet instead it felt like it had so many of those other movies crammed into one. It was all over the place, it was unfocused. It didn't really continue the story from Age of Extinction. Galvatron wasn't a thing, we didn't see anything to do with the creators. We got Quintessa, she was cool, but it wasn't the same thing. And as you know, the Quintessons were supposed to be a thing. We discovered that concept there. I did a whole fucking documentary on that uh, recently, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link below. But, you know, the movie came out, it was all over the place. It was very unprofessional and it was just really weird. And I remember I came home afterwards and I just sank on the floor. I was in bewilderment. I felt like I couldn't take in any of what I'd seen. I had to watch the movie a few more times to even make sense of it all. This wasn't what the film needed to be. It was a defining moment in the sense that it kills the cinematic universe it was supposed to kickstart and it had irreparable damage on the franchise as a whole. The Transformers brand has gone back to more G1 basics and storytelling and designs because of this. We got the Bumblebee movie a year afterwards and ironically it ended up being worse than this movie for the opposite reasons but I'm not going to get into that now. Um, and that was one of the movies that survived the writer's room. So, you know, this movie did permanent damage to the franchise and it ended on a cliffhanger that's probably never going to be resolved. The writer's room disbanded and it felt like the fandom had been abandoned. 
all of that praise and build up was all for nothing and it all fell apart. I was fairly depressed afterwards. Um, I already did my review before on my last channel so I'm not really going to talk as much about the movie itself. I presume you've probably seen it so you know the movie is pretty bad. Even if you're a Transformers fan you can agree this movie was not good at all. But it does have the comedy, I will say the comedy, this movie is the funniest of all six Transformers movies. The comedy, whether intention or not, is pretty funny most of the time. Um, but anyways, you know, I was disappointed and as artwork and stuff came out in the months and years ever since, you know, we painted a bigger picture of a movie that just was entirely different from what was planned. All the concept art showed a different movie. All the details are just completely twisted and warped. I don't know who exactly is to blame, it's probably Paramount, but whatever happened, the movie went in the wrong direction. But that being said, I still look back on it in fondness for all those memories it gave me and for the escape it gave me. You know, I went through a tough time in school for those three years and this movie was ironically what got me through it because I always saw it as, you know, there's something to look forward to no matter what. And it's ironic that it ended up turning out terrible in the end. But, you know, I always latched on to that hope and that excitement. And, you know, I, I was always, you know, I still buy a load of Transformers and Last Night toys. You can't see them here. Maybe I'll show them later. I bought a load. I immersed myself in the branding, even though the movie itself was terrible. Because what this specific movie meant to me was more than what the quality of the movie itself was. A bit like the first Transformers movie and like Age of Extinction. It's something that represents a huge part of me really I can never let that down I will always look back on 2015 16 and 17 um, in a really special light because of this I will cling on to those memories forever and I'll be forever grateful because they're important in a way they helped shape who I am I learned a lot of lessons you know from that time tempering my expectations it's why with things like Metroid Dread for example I use that as a big example. Apart from this, that's the other thing I was major excited for. This taught me to temper my expectations. Because while I was excited for that game, I tempered my expectations. I went in expecting there's going to be things in this that you don't like. It's highly likely. You're not going to like everything in it. So just expect now and prepare yourself for the fact that this is not going to be exactly what you think or hope. And that's the one positive I can take away from Transformers The Last Night. That experience helped me to avoid such disappointment in the future. And with future Transformers movies as well, you know, I will be more cautious in my approach toward them. Oh yeah, when I look back on my... how much I post on social media, I have a Facebook album that I've been adding photos to ever since the first trailer came out. And currently there's almost a thousand photos in there. That's how obsessed I was in this. Think of me posting Spiral from the Book of Saw videos on this channel, on Novus Talks. That's what I was doing on Novus Corvus, my last channel, what was Transformers 5. I was really knee-deep into it. It consumed my life in a way that probably wasn't healthy looking back on it. But in a way, it's a cautionary tale. Uh, never let these things consume you. Allow yourself to feel, you know, this childhood wonder and allow yourself to feel excitement and nostalgia. But be careful and keep an open mind and, you know, prepare yourself for the fact that there will be something in it that will disappoint you. It's inevitable. Nothing can be perfect. And that's the problem, you know. I loved Age of Extinction so much. I still do. But because that movie was so brilliant in my eyes, The Last Night had to be even better because of it being a sequel, because of it continuing that story. And the promise of this writer's room, you know, there was so much building up and it all fell apart but the weird thing is those movies are still getting reused and recycled so I guess technically the writer's room didn't really fall apart it's just the ideas are not coming together in the way they were originally planned but yeah it feels like a distant memory now to be honest with you you know it was only five years ago now but a lot has happened in that time frame I've grown as a person I've had excitement for other movies and video games that have taken my attention. You know, I've grown as an actor in my personal life. You know, I've had experiences, first jobs, you know, things like that. A lot has happened that have pushed this further back in my memory. It's weird to say for something that was such a huge obsession of mine, 
Transformers The Last Night and the journey to it feels like a distant memory to me now. But it was important for me to acknowledge it, and that's why I wanted to make this video and I made social media posts as well. No matter how bad the movie was, it still was an important part of my life. I've made everlasting friendships because of it, and I guess to this day I'm still feeling the ramifications of that. You know, all of that excitement and that consuming into it that I felt, you know? I can still look back and I feel that very vividly, even still. When I look back and I can get absorbed in the memories and nostalgia of it all. Um, so it's not something that's ever going to let me go. It's something that will stick with me forever, for better or for worse. But it's informed my decisions with approaching future media, video games, movies, TV shows. Um, it's something that helped me grow as a person. Despite almost killing my favorite movie franchise and almost a Transformers brand as a whole, it's also something I have to be thankful for because it did continue the story in some way and it did offer some conclusion, kind of, not really. But, you know, the journey was what matters. The destination was a disaster, but the journey is something I would always hold on to because apart from Metroid Dread, I'll, I've never felt that excitement ever since. Metroid Dread was probably 10 times the excitement I had for this, and Metroid Prime 4 will probably be even more, but I can use my experience with this to sort of temper my expectations with that. And I'll admit, you know, sometimes I do get sad knowing I'll never have that excitement for something again. I can never live up to that sort of absorption and obsession I had with this. It's sad and it does make me nostalgic, but at the same time it's a good thing because I'm not going to destroy myself. I'm not going to drive my mental health completely insane over it, you know? This was a cautionary tale. It was a fun experience, the journey leading up to it, that is. But, and you know, it helped me grow as a YouTuber. Some of my YouTube channel, some of my videos on my last YouTube channel got thousands of views. A few of them got a million views because of this. So I do owe a lot to this movie. This video might not mean anything to the vast majority of you watching this. You might not even understand, or some of you might. Some of you might have similar experiences. But that's why I said I'm doing this personally for me. I don't think it deserves a happy fifth anniversary or anything like that. But it does deserve, it does deserve acknowledgement and appreciation is warranted for the permanent impact it had on my life and just everything that came with, for getting me through some rough years and for in some way molding me to who I am today. Just like the first Transformers movie did all the way back in 2017. So yeah, I guess I want to end this by saying thank you Transformers The Last Night for the lasting impact you had on me and uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Have you had any experiences like this? I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions and to anyone who supported me along the journey and who engaged with me in my various YouTube videos over the years and my discussions and posts on Instagram and Facebook, thank you. It was fun and you contributed to a really special time in my life. So, yeah. With that all said, thank you all for watching and please subscribe. Nova Scorpius out.